Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Today I want to talk about how you can take your whip with you when you go on a short break or on vacation even. Uh, if you just cannot bear to be parted with your diamond painting. So you have decided that you want to take a little break and go away for a long weekend or a week or two uh, somewhere sunny but you don't want to be away from your diamond painting. So the problem is how do you transport a work in progress safely uh, without the drills falling off the canvas, without the canvas getting creased or crushed and the answer to that is you roll it up and you put it inside a tube. So this is one that I ordered from Amazon and all you have to do is search for a poster tube, art tube, something like that and you'll find things like this but the reason that I chose this one uh, I'll show in a minute So this is how this one comes, it's just uh, brown paper to pack it up a bit, not an extremely uh, sturdy box but it really doesn't matter. So take the paper off, and this is what we have. Now I got this one from Amazon.de which is Germany. So that explains why it is uh, in German, but you will find them uh, on Amazon.com as well. So comes in clear cellophane, little gold tie, put that out of the way. So it's basically a plastic tube with a strap. So you can adjust the length of this strap um, and carry it over your shoulder if you want but realistically I probably won't be doing that. You might use it as a handle and then uh, stick it in the back of the car. But you can hear something is rattling about inside. So if we take the top off and we have two permanent markers, one red, one black. They just come with it. Um, I would imagine that not all of them will, but this one does. Now, the thing about this one is it is adjustable. So you can see uh, little holes here and it has an arrow. So you lock it one way and it locks, you turn it the other way and this will open up. So you also have to adjust the strap. Um, I'll try to think the quickest way to do this. Obviously I hadn't opened it so just a bit more length in the strap. So you can see things a bit better. So you just adjust it to whatever you want, like I said you can carry it over your shoulder. But the main thing is this part here. So you turn it back the way towards yourself to lock it, turn it forward and then you can adjust it. So you can adjust the strap to let it go even bigger and you can see the way that it works is there are these little notches. So once you get it lined up and you turn it it locks. So this is as small as it will go and if I open it up all the way and then try again. So turn it to unlock it and then pull it. You can see all these notches. 
so it goes uh, very big. You wouldn't have to worry about a diamond painting not fitting into this, but the thing is it's adjustable, that's the main thing, so you can use it um, any time working on different sizes of diamond paintings. All you would do is, um, when you've sort of finished what you're doing before you put it away, uh, use a roller. Uh, this is a little uh, one that I got. It's a rubber roller and I actually did an unboxing of this and I'll put a link up here. When I bought this I really thought it was just a gimmick. didn't really think I was going to use it because I had been using the good old kitchen rolling pin and uh, what I was doing was when I finished a diamond painting I would put uh, a tea towel over it. I would get the big wooden rolling pin and roll it. Um, but the way that I do it now is, as I finish sections, um, I use release paper. So as I finish a section, I roll it and then move to the next one and finish that, I roll it. And then when I finish the whole thing, uh, I roll the whole thing. So before packing the, the whip away, um, I would give it a roll to press the drills uh, down solidly onto the glue and then turn the picture upside down and roll it up so that the drills are on the outside and then once I've done that um, personally I would use some bubble wrap just to pad the outside of the diamond painting just wrap it up in that and then um, adjust this to the size that you need for the diamond painting that you're doing lock it and then slide your diamond painting with the bubble wrap on the outside into the tube and uh, if your diamond painting is shorter than the tube I would pack this up with bubble wrap just to stop it sliding back and forward inside the tube and that will keep it secure. So that's, uh, that's how I would transport a whip uh, to take away for a weekend or whatever and uh, you can get cardboard tubes but they aren't adjustable so if you get a bigger one you would need to buy a different size tube the advantage of this is um, it is adjustable and it's plastic so it can take uh, getting a bit of rain on it and things whereas cardboard might start to get a bit soggy depending on how heavy the rain is and it also has a strap um, that you can minimize and just use it as a carry handle if you want or obviously you can just carry it I mean they're not that thick so uh, that's it how to carry your whip when you decide to take a weekend away want a quiet break and still want to do some diamond painting so there you have it have whip will travel so um, you can also use cardboard tubes as I said but the problem with the cardboard tubes is they are a set size so if you get a larger diamond painting it won't fit in the tube and you would have to get another cardboard tube also the plastic tubes are more waterproof um, if they get soaked in the rain uh, if you're on vacation that's usually what happens but if they get soaked um, they won't start to um, fall to bits which may happen with cardboard tubes um, you can also use them as storage at home, uh, even if you're not uh, going away. Um, a lot of people don't have space. I'm, I'm lucky enough to have space where the, the, the whip or the work in progress that I'm working on stays on the table. Um, I don't have to pack it up and put it away uh, to put dinner on the table and that sort of thing. But I know a lot of people um, aren't lucky enough to have that space. So you could use a tube um, to roll your diamond painting up when you've finished and uh, remember to put the drills to the outside and I would also recommend that you put some uh, bubble wrap on, on the outside to stop the drills rubbing against the tube. Um, and then you can keep them in there, bring it out when you want to use it and uh, just move back and forward. Um, it's a bit more secure than just leaving them laying around. Also stops uh, pet hairs and things getting on them. So uh, the reason that I liked this one when I saw it 
is the fact that it is adjustable and it goes from 60 centimeters to 100 centimeters which should accommodate most people's diamond paintings <coughs> excuse me um, the other alternative is to keep the box that you get the diamond painting in if it is a sturdy box uh, they aren't all sturdy that is the problem a lot of them are extremely flimsy so i wouldn't recommend keeping your whip in that and uh, a lot of diamond paintings come in bags so um, you can't really put them back in the bag uh, so it's it's also an option to store your diamond painting at home not just for um, taking it when you're going on vacation so that's it um, nothing much more to say uh, the ones that I, that I saw were on Amazon um, if you search for um, I was trying to remember what it's called poster roll I think that one came under but poster roll poster tube that sort of thing just search the internet uh, you'll find plenty of them um, so th this one is available in different colors I forgot to mention that um, I chose the green one I think it's in red black white and orange maybe can't remember not that the color really matters but um, I just thought I would mention it so that's it for today um, how to carry your whip um, if you enjoyed the video uh, please subscribe and hit the notification button um, you may catch me live on YouTube I do random lives where I just come on while I'm working on uh, the project that I'm, I'm working on if that makes sense um, <clears throat> and people drop in and we talk about diamond painting uh, all different things to do with diamond painting but we also talk about a lot of different things um, I am originally from Scotland I now live in Copenhagen in Denmark and I'm quite keen to meet people around the world in different places and learn a little bit about where they live. Uh, I, I enjoy that sort of thing. So it's just a chance for people to come in, relax, have a bit of a chit chat and hopefully enjoy it. So if you're interested in that, as I said, um, hit the notification button and uh, you may catch me. So uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. In the meantime, take care. Be safe and wash your hands.